It's very difficult to get sprayed and penetrate a broadleaf cannon, but for effective disease control, that's what's sometimes required. In cucurbits, for example, downy mildew is a devastating disease that requires that spray not only penetrate into the canopy, but deposit on the undersides of leaves. Without air assist or a directed spray from drop legs, many growers rely on hollow cone nozzles to fog fungicides into a broadleaf canopy. But is that really the best choice? We ran a demo on cucumber using water-sensitive paper to show how coverage changes using three different droplet sizes and two water volume. First up was very coarse spray from an asymmetrical flat fan nozzle. We saw 6.4% coverage and 50 deposits per square centimeter at about 30 gallons per acre. When we raised the volume to 40 gallons per acre, we doubled the area covered and we saw a bump in the number of hits. While these big droplets are unlikely to drift, they do have a hard time penetrating dense broadleaf canopies, and they're unlikely to provide underleaf coverage. Next was a conventional flat fan, delivering a medium droplet size. Smaller droplets mean more droplets, so we saw a big increase in the percent area covered, as well as the number of hits per square centimeter. There was a small improvement, by the way, when we moved from 30 to 40 gallons per acre, but not enough to warrant the extra water. A hollow cone nozzle makes the finest spray of all. It's got the potential to cover more area and greatly increase the number of hits. But, fine spray moves unpredictably. It can be blown off course by breezes, even the wake from the sprayer itself. And we saw that unpredictability when we found a disappointing 9.2% area covered, but a high droplet count of 190 deposits per square centimeter. That was at 30 gallons per acre compared to 21.7% covered and 274 deposits per square centimeter at 40 gallons per acre. It looks good, doesn't it? But from moment to moment, fines result in fluctuation between coverage and drift. You just can't predict it, and you can't rely on it. In the end, a medium droplet size produced from a conventional flat fan nozzle moves more predictably and creates less drift then finds from a hollow cone nozzle. Used responsibly, a medium droplet size strikes a great balance between coverage and drift in broadleaf crops.